Hello, my name is Paul Priestley. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Paul Priestley Art. Today, we're going to be looking at how to draw buildings looking from above. So we're looking down on the buildings and we're going to be looking at how to get the perspective right. It's going to be wonderful. So don't hang about. Come on, let's get started. OK, the first thing to remember is eye level is always the horizon. Doesn't matter if you move up or down, it's still the horizon. Eye level, horizon. I'm going to use an 8B pencil for this tutorial. You can see I've marked out the eye level. I've got a grass bank here and I'm going to be looking down on things. Remember, eye level, horizon. Don't forget. OK, now to start, we need to identify the two vanishing points. If you want to know more about two-point perspective, click the little section at the top there. OK, we start by drawing our building below the eye level. It's got to be a vertical line. The left-hand side, as you can see, must go to the left vanishing point. Once you've done that, you can draw in the little square for one side of the building. The other side, the right side of that line, must go to the right vanishing point and we can draw in our little block as we did with in the last video. Little cross here, this will give you the gable end in the absolute perfect correct place in perspective. The roof, as you say, also goes to that vanishing point and we can draw in our little building here, as you can see. Very nice. You'll notice now, if we were standing on this grass bank at the front here, we are looking down on the object, you see. Now, again, we'll draw another building alongside. Now, even though we can't see the side of the building because it's dis disappeared behind this building, we still draw it as though we can so we can get the gable in the right place. Once you've suggested the gable, as you can see here, the lines on the right-hand side must go to the right vanishing point on the right-hand side, as you can see here. So we're blocking in our basic building now, and you can see that the building really does look as though we're looking down on it from this elevated position because the buildings are below our eye level. Now, any doors or windows that you put on your building must all go to the vanishing points. You must always put lines to the vanishing points. Make sure the left hand side to the left vanishing point, right to the right vanishing point. We're going to just sketch in a little um, pathway here. Just do this quite loosely. Okay, I'm just going to produce it as a sketch, but notice it gets wider as it comes towards you. Always make sure things get wider as they come towards you. It makes things look as though they're receding into the picture. I'm just going to sketch a couple of trees here. Obviously, the one that's closer to us will be bigger, as you can see here. And I'm just basically sketching in very simply. Working out where the sun comes from is very important because that determines where the shadows are. So I'm going to sh shade the front surface of these buildings here, just block they say they might be farm buildings or something like that. It doesn't really matter. Um, notice the shadow will be cast along the side of this building, which is important. OK, I'll just block in the windows here and we'll start working on the front of this building. Again, identifying the shadow. And I'm just using vertical lines because that the surface is vertical and it just helps to make things look that much more interesting. Remember, the shadow will come out horizontally along the road here. I'm just blocking that in. A slightly larger shadow for the larger building, as you can see. Just block those in. You can measure this quite accurately if you want to, but this is just a sketch, so we're not going to worry too much about that. Just block a little bit in for the um, roofs as well. Put a little fence in. Notice the fence gets wider apart and each post gets taller as it comes towards you. Helps to suggest this move into the distance, which is what you want to create. We're going to put a little bit of shadow on the tree. Remember, the shadow on the tree has got to be the same size as the shadow uh, side as the shadow, shadow on the buildings. Um, I'm just going to block in the tree. You see, I'm just going to use three tones. Some very 
dark shadows to suggest the strongest shadows, then a mid-tone, and use the paper as the light tone there. Just suggest the shadow on the floor as well for each of these posts as well as the tree. You can notice now it's beginning to look as though we've got some strong sunlight shining across our scene. The same applies for this taller tree, just blocking in with three tones. Use different angles for the lines, you know, uh, we're just suggesting the tree here. We're not drawing a tree in great detail or anything like that, but it will look correct in context with what we're doing. So just three tones, dark, mid-tone, light tone, the paper can be used for that. A few little scribbles here just to suggest the edges of the tree, maybe some leaves. You're just suggesting, you see, with a sketch. You don't, you're not drawing things in detail. It's just a simple sketch. We put the shadow in, as you can see here. We'll put some more bushes along the front here. Remember, we are looking down on these bushes, so they're going to be quite small. Um, where it meets the ground, they're going to be in strong shadow, little blocks here as you can see three tones and then some shadow below that to make it all work quite nicely we'll put in some um, <clears throat> trees and bushes again behind those buildings you'll notice because they're nice and dark it makes the tree uh, the uh, building stand out don't forget the shadow that it produces on the side too now um apology to make here i'm working in a cold studio and my lens on my camera has started to fog up and I didn't notice this when I was drawing. Lasts about 50 seconds or so and then we'll get back to normal. Just imagine it's a misty day and we're looking at the sketch through the mist in the morning. That should be good, you see. Okay, we're just blocking in this um, hedge along here and we'll put the shadow in just strengthen the shadow around the building here oh it's getting very misty look you see yes yeah, very very misty all the way down here down to the shadow along there it's all looking quite good okay that's looking good so far oh the sun's come out yes see we're back to normal again i've cleaned my lens now that i noticed it right we sketch a little tree here as you can see um again strong shadow underneath the tree because obviously the light's coming from above. We're using three tones, but not quite so dark as the other trees because they're not quite so close as you can see here. We're just blocking this tree in. You notice it's a smaller tree, it's still bigger than the buildings, but it's a smaller tree than the other one on the right hand side because it's a little further away. Okay, so just block that in, put the shadows in there for the tree. You can see that's working across there. And um, we'll put another little tree in the background, but this obviously is much smaller. You see, it gives a sense of scale. It's also much lighter in tone, so don't make it too dark. And that way then it finds its place in the landscape further back into the landscape itself. Right, we'll put a few little lines along here now just to suggest the edges of uh, fields, you might have a little fence along here. Same sort of idea, this might be a broken old fence, you see, or just put a few lines on there just to make that look like a fence. Don't forget the shadows. A uh, few little marks now just to finish off, make the fields look a little bit rougher, bring some of the shading down for those hills past my horizon line and so on. So we'll just uh, finish off now with the uh, tiles on the roof just suggest those are a little bit darker as you can see just makes that look a little bit more interesting now you can see where i am see where the horizon is standing on a bank looking down good luck with your drawing thank you for watching i hope you've really enjoyed learning how to draw buildings from above now if you have could you please subscribe to my channel and click the little black bell as well so we can keep in contact that would be wonderful if you would like to support the making of these videos then please check out my patreon channel where you can find lots of really interesting rewards in return for your patronage that would be absolutely wonderful thank you for watching again cheers